Hello world, welcome back to my channel Honza's Collection and in today's video I would like to show you one six scale uh, collectible figure uh, from the movie Iron Man 3 uh, and this guy is the main villain uh, he goes by the name the Mandarin so I want to show you what is inside the box and if this figure is worth your money or not so without further ado, let's go and uh, let's see how the uh, box looks like and what is inside. So first of all, uh, as you can see right here uh, at the top, you have the beautiful, uh, I wouldn't call it artwork, it's, it's more like a photo of this uh, actor, uh, he goes by the name Ben Kingsley, I'm sure that pretty much all of you should know him and then here you can see the rest of his hand here are some uh, credits and uh, some camouflage painting then here you can see the logo over here at the top you have Iron Man 3 logo down here it's the same so pretty simple box but i have to say that i really like how this one looks uh, because especially for those of you who likes to uh, put your uh, art boxes uh, in the top of your shelf uh, to your display uh, this is definitely something that looks almost like a poster so if you are a fan of the mandarin i'm sure you will uh, enjoy uh, even the box itself and uh, also i have to admit that i'm a huge fan of mandarin i uh, still remember how i felt uh, back in the days when i saw iron man 3 for the first time when i was going back from the cinema and uh, this incredible ending twist uh, which was in the movie i don't want to spoil it to you was just absolutely outstanding and i was blown away by uh, how uh, great and unexpected the twist was uh, so yeah let's go and let's let's take a look what is inside the box and right here you can see that first of all you have this this let's call it terrorist logo uh, I'm sure you remember this from the movie because that that is something that was on the screen uh, so this is just like a plastic backdrop piece and uh, here you can see the figure itself so without further ado let's take a close look of what we have inside so first of all uh, I should also admit that I bought this figure uh, from the secondary market so I'm not sure if it has been damaged somehow but here you can see like the likeness with the actor is definitely there and uh, yeah that's how he looks like first impression is really great uh, but let's put him aside and let's take a closer look of what we have here what kind of accessories and here we have everything that comes with mandarin and as you can see it's not a lot of stuff uh, but on the other hand uh, if you do remember from the movie he actually didn't really had many stuff with him he didn't wear any guns as far as i remember uh, he's not using them and uh, you know there is nothing really which i could even imagine to include maybe just some i don't know some tv camera that would be nice uh but i think that's uh it's fine as it is and uh, i'm sure that you are looking mainly here at the chair itself and this is uh, absolutely outstanding accessory uh, because as you can imagine uh, you 
can definitely use this chair not only for the Mandarin, but for pretty much almost every figure that you have in your collection, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, and I have to also say that not all Hot Toys figures uh, are able to sit on it, because if you have some figures uh, where the material on their suit is not as flexible, it could damage the figure, so you have to be careful. Uh, but uh, still, I would say that majority of your figures can definitely sit on it. And because there is no logo of Mandarin or no logo of Iron Man or anything like that, you can definitely use this piece any way you would like. And I'm not sure if it's visible on the camera, but uh, for example, here you can see some scratches. Uh, so it looks like that it has been through some stuff. Uh, here you can see that as well. I'm not sure if I can focus on that. Yeah, maybe, maybe now you can see that. It's uh, also right here. Uh, and uh, it's it's more or less everywhere on the on the whole chair, so uh, it's definitely great thing to do because now it doesn't look like that it has just been put straight from the box, but it looks like an ancient uh, chair uh, which has been crafted really nicely, and the like the carved chair is is just beautiful. So. That's the chair. Then over here we have this tiny piece, tiny sunglasses that Ben Kingsley is wearing in the movie. And let me just focus on that. It's pretty, uh, pretty simple. Nothing really special about these sunglasses, uh, but they are definitely tiny and you have to be really careful not to break them uh, but it's uh, definitely a needed accessory I'm sure that if they wouldn't be included a lot of people would miss them then uh, we have this uh, base there is this uh, stand and it's it's an old school figure so you have to understand that the base is, is pretty simple uh, you have the Mandarin logo and the Iron Man 3 logo, so pretty simple. I could imagine a nicer stand, but you know, it's we have to take, uh, uh, you know, as a fact that he has been made to be sitting on the chair, so you shouldn't really use the as uh, the display stand that much and the last thing that we have right here are these uh, beautiful nicely crafted hands and as you can see the rings are just outstanding I love the way how they looks and they definitely looks like that it's uh, it's an older hand uh, but the the rings like that's that's something that makes Hot Toys one of the best companies uh, when it comes to the uh, figures and because the art is definitely there. You have to admit that it's it just looks beautiful. Look at the veins! Oh my God, that's just incredible. All right, so that's everything that comes with the mandarin and now let's take a close look at the mandarin himself all right and here we have mandarin himself and as you can see like the outfit is just absolutely outstanding i love the way how he looks it definitely looks like someone that someone has really put a lot of effort into the mandarin's outfit to make him look like a proper terrorist, uh, to make him look like that he's uh, from somewhere, some Middle East or uh, or somewhere, and uh, that he also looks like uh, he's a very rich person. And if we will take a closer look at the details, you can see that mainly 
What I absolutely love about this figure is the head sculpt. Because this is definitely Ben Kingsley through and through. There is no doubt, no second thinking about this. It's definitely Ben without any questions. You can also see him from this angle. Still looks like him. Over here you can see the ponytail. I really love these details. Yeah, so that's definitely him. Uh, but there is one thing which you might already notice on the outfit. And I'm not sure if it's just my problem or not. But here you can see that it looks like that there is this... Uh, this black area is missing because here it is on this on this outfit on this side but it's not here and it may be, be there because the previous owner damaged the suit somehow uh, but I've already seen a figure which was not mine which had the same issue uh, so to be honest with you I'm not sure Maybe it is damaged, maybe it is how it's supposed to look like. Uh, but uh, from my point of view, I'm just not sure. So you have to uh, bear that in mind. But yeah, let's take a close look on the rest of the outfit. Here you can see the uh, nicely, uh, like really crafted sleeves, uh, like it's like a 3D, like small plastic pieces over here, small plastic buttons down here. I mean, look at this. This is just absolutely incredible. All these tiny details. Look at that. You just have to love it. And uh, also the outfit, like this coat is uh, some sort of velvet style or type of material. So it's really pleasant to touch it. Uh, and the rest of the outfit is just a uh, normal leather. Um, can we call it a t-shirt? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, something like that and then if we will go down over here you can see uh, how these uh, camouflaged pants can look really beautifully with this uh, with this dragon you know can you imagine how hard it has to be to put a dragon like that uh, on one six scale figure that's just outstanding and here let's take a close look at the boots so you can see really nice details over here. You can see the small Marvel logo right here. Uh, it's a pure plastic boots, no split cut boot design. So unfortunately you cannot really uh, play with that. Uh, but uh, I'm sure you, you wouldn't mind in the end because first of all, he should sit. And uh, second of all, he just stands really nicely even with the boots how they are and uh, it is not expected that Ben Kingsley would be in some sort of dynamic pose so I think it it's not a big deal uh, all right and let's take a close look at the articulation uh, and I'm sure you, you already have some ideas because with this beard uh, you can't really move uh, with his head too much. So you can do something like this. From one side to another. Back. Mm, almost nothing. Forward. Also v very limited right here because of the beard obviously. But as I said you are not uh, expected to do crazy poses with this guy. Uh, then uh, I have to say that the rest of the figure has uh, really nicely done uh, movement. Uh, so you can put the arms up to about here. Then forward 
to about here something like that maybe even slightly higher uh, then you have double bend here you can do pretty much everything with this one so double bend at the elbow a classic 1 6 scale joint in, in the arm uh, then the torso he can go from here to there not much uh, but you have this this uh, belt right here so it's uh, fairly limited and then you can go to about here which is something that you would definitely not expect and to about here with his leg then you have double bend at the knee and as I said uh, no split cut boot design uh, but yeah uh, as for Ben Kingsley which is an older actor and uh, for a figure which should supposed to sit I think it's not bad at all so yeah that that's just how he is and uh, now let's try some poses and do some final statements about this guy and here we have pose number one uh, just pretty plain and simple how he stands and he's asking somebody to come closer pretty simple that's how he should look look like most of the time and I think it's pretty decent and here you can see how Deadpool really took his place and he's not a fan uh, looking for someone or something which could help him to uh, get him out of his spot yeah I know it's not a uh, MCU accurate uh, but that's just Deadpool you know you can put him anywhere and he will look amazing so that's another thing that you can do why not all right and here you have the final uh, final pose uh, as you can see now his uh, masked or camouflaged pants are hidden uh, under his uh, velvet uh, coat and he has glasses he looks pretty much how he looked in the movie uh, so you just have to admit that he just looks amazing and uh, it would be definitely great to show him uh, also with the Iron Man uh, Mark 42 uh, figure but uh, I don't have it yet so maybe in some another video but he is definitely one of my favorite uh, MCU villains uh, if not the uh, the best one uh, so I'm really happy how he looks. I'm really happy uh, for everything that he comes with. Uh, there is really nothing I would add to the cons. Maybe just these joints which could be hidden better. But that's just pretty much it. Yeah, and you know, I'm still not sure about this detail. Uh, but, you know, without that... He's just brilliant. So I definitely recommend you to add this guy to your collection. Um, I'm sure that for a lot of people he won't be the must-have figure. Because obviously a lot of people are buying mainly heroes, not villains. And uh, he was also like a one-time villain. But you never know with him. Uh, based on how the movie has ended and also based on how the short movie about Mandarin was uh, on uh, one of the Blu-ray discs. I'm not sure if it was... Uh, it, it was not Iron Man 3, I think it was the next movie. Maybe Ant-Man or what was after Iron Man 3, I'm not sure now. Uh, but uh, he had this Marvel one-shot video where he was amazing as well and now when you are watching this we already know that uh, we have 
Shang-Chi coming to do MCU, um, the first Asian superhero. Uh, so he will be in the cinema soon. And uh, this movie should also introduce uh, Mandarin, uh, but it will be definitely a different Mandarin. And I don't want to go to the spoilers, so I will leave it like that. Uh, but let's just admit that it would be really amazing if this Mandarin and the new one would see each other at least during the ending scene or like after credit scene. That would be outstanding. But we just have to wait and see uh, what's coming up next. Uh, but anyway, I hope that you liked this video. If you did, uh, please like, comment or subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video.